Do you know what this is? It looks like some kind of weird technical instrument, but it is useful for your computer water cooling. So, and why and how it works, we'll see in this video. Marcel, at the end of this tubing, there is a very, very strange thing. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that is our leak tester from Alphacool. Um, that is a pressure tester and uh, its purpose is to, to check if your system or even of if uh, some signal com components are um, leaking. Yeah, so, well, if a water cooling system is leaking, I would assume that massive amounts of water would come out somewhere. Uh, no, no, no. Most of the times there is only the thread um, not, not threaded incorrectly. So there are some, some small drops or in the radiator um, sometimes um, yeah. the screws from the fans. This are... is a, a big problem again and again. Here, as you can see, if you mount the screw too long, it can destroy one of these channels. And no one recognizes is it and it's maybe just only a very, very small leak. Yes. Oftentimes. And you, you don't even see it. Yeah. So, the, because it is hidden uh, under this, this uh, yeah, small, small yeah. bracket. Or if you just like, for example, when screwing this, you somehow destroy this area where the O-ring is supposed to seal it and mm -hmm. it has like a scratch here. Yeah. This so, that is that is the, um, most of the time the, the yeah. issue of the um, of uh, so yeah. okay what leaking. what will you do then just give me a demonstration of this so we got a one radiator here to check if this radiator is um, is leaking is or leaking, not is, or is it is, is, is yeah, what are you doing now um, I'm you have you have to uh, to close all um, um, all threads uh, except of the the one you you want to uh, you want to test on and yeah. So this is a nice tool. Yeah. So we can you, we can. This uh, doesn't make any scratches. No, and it is uh, it is not forcing the yeah. um, the the thread to go too deep. Um, yeah. If you use other tools like um, a screwdriver, screwdriver, yeah, or uh, um, um, how does this called in English? Hexagon. <laughs> uh, <wow>. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cut. <laughs> Yeah, I have a tool, but I don't have a tool. Okay. Yeah, so it's another tool. So this is working quite well and does not make any scratches. And it is not over over threatening the thread. Yeah. Um, so if you, uh, many customers are using other tools to to um, to tighten the fittings, yeah. which is not recommended. Too only much power with, is. Yeah. Only, too uh, much power. <laughs> with, uh, always with the hand and some screw plug can be uh, used this tool for. Yeah. And in the other one, we attach our our uh, leak detector. And now we apply pressure to it, only yep. hand warm as well. And now we apply pressure to Wait, it. Let me see how it's, how it's working. We just pump it up to about... Uh, yeah, a little more, a little more. Okay, okay. To about half Look, a bar. The level is here like blue and red. So 0 0.8 is, is supposed to be the maximum. Yeah, because um, the, the radiators and the components are, test, are, uh, are tested uh, to, to that point and everything above that is, uh, can, be, can be critical. But sounds like low pressure, but L just to understand, this pump, for example, has below like 0 0.1. Yeah. This, this is like 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. And it's like in meters, this is like two to three meters, and here we have like three to four meters. So even with the strongest pump, you would end up at 0 0.3 or 0 0.4. If you have some more comp components, you even have lower pressure. Yes. So, uh, yeah. And um, yeah, and if the, the uh, pressure stays uh, like that uh, for 15 minutes, 15 minutes, you can be sure uh, that the, that the uh, component is not leaking. Yeah, it could happen that it goes down a little. Yeah, but in 15 minutes. Yeah, but how much is too much? Um, well, it can it can go about um, uh, yeah point one bar more because yeah. um, air leaking or yeah, air leakness is uh, something different than liquid, and um, yeah, so yeah. It, like air can get out but liquid stays in. Yeah, yeah, uh, for, absolutely, for absolutely. pressure reasons, let's say exactly. 
Yeah, that's that's fantastic. That's a good tool, isn't it? It is. It is. So if you want to be sure to, to if you uh, yeah, if you want to be sure that your uh, system is not leaking, we always recommend to use that before building. Or if you have some issues, we recommend it to to troubleshoot where the issue is. Yes, amazing tool. So I hope this video helped you to understand why the leak pressure tool is so such a good thing and just show it up into the camera. What we can see is if you have a leakage or you just open something, then the pressure will go down and you can be sure there is an opening somewhere in your system. Okay, you can subscribe to our channel, please give a thumb up, leave some comments and stay online for the next videos. Thank you for watching, goodbye.